What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Um, does the older guard have any wins? You know, I thought about, you know, our elders because I was watching a movie about um, um, One Night in Miami on Amazon. And thinking about Malcolm, um, Jim Brown is still living. You know, of course, Sam Cooke passed, like, for uh, Malcolm did. Um, and of course, Ali died a few years ago. And then think of, it's, more, it's MLK Day. And are we in a situation where we're not really advertising when we're winning as a group of people? Or are we in a situation where people are in position to win off of us that are supposed to be helping us? Because I'm thinking about it, and I'm looking at the older guard, and I was upset back in the day when President Obama was in office, and all of these civil rights leaders from the past, and all of these uh, so-called uh, black leaders, they took those eight years and just partied. They didn't push any policies for the black community. They just partied. They just, I like seeing them walk on the lawn. I like seeing Air Force One. It's a black man waving. And this, the, the symbolic effect was definitely there. But see, the problem with it is these older people are savvy, savvy enough to get something for themselves. See, they, they got, you know, businesses, business loans. They use their political ties and their political leanings and their affiliations to benefit them. But when it comes to the community, I'm not too sure about that. Like, does the older guard actually have any wins for us as a community? Because it seems like I understand America is racist. I understand America is an oppressive nation. I understand America wants to keep us at the bottom. But I, but I have the, an understanding of uh, you leaders or so-called leaders don't have a problem helping um, the American system of racism, white supremacy, oppression, you don't pro have a problem helping them keep us at the bottom as long as you get something out of the deal. And <clears throat> in some ways, this is what Malcolm died for. This, this is what Martin died for. This is what Mega died for. Because people were selfish. And, you know, and I could be wrong, but Nobody talks about the wins. You can't say, you know, could you list the wins of all the black leaders? Like, could you list the, the wins of, of um, like, John Lewis for me? Or list the wins of Al Sharpton since he's on the picture. Or list the wins of Sheila Jackson Lee. Or, or, or I forgot the other. Uh, list, list the wins of the black co congressional caucus in general. You get what I'm saying? List the what have they done that made sure the black community had a leg up, had had a better opportunity in America than um, they, we had in previous generations, and how and and how they put us in a position to be more competitive in the American for the American dream and in the global uh, economy. And I don't, you know, I don't think so. Like they can tell us everything that we are going to be. Um, manipulated into, used into, be cannon fodder for, be on the front lines to be the first one to get uh, treated unfairly. But they can't tell us the benefits of that. They can't tell us, well, you know, on the back end, you're going to get this, that, and the third. It's just try this, try this, try this, try this, try this, try this. And you ride off into the sunset. And, you know, the more I think about it, it, it becomes disgusting. Because I'm really not trying to Make up that I don't know of any wins, but at the particular moment, I don't know of any wins. So let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch you on the next one. Peace.